Hi, my name is Gabriela. When you come back to the air, is it easy for you to walk? Uh, Based on the workout uh, exercise that we do on the space station, physically we're in great shape uh, when we come back, but it's our, our inner ear, our sense of balance, and you've been messing up for a few days, so that kind of makes you a little wobbly walking just because you don't know uh, what your balance is like. So we'll see how that happens. Everybody's a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to come home in about a month, and I'll be able to answer that question a little better for you then. Over. Hi, my name is Rizili. Which is the difference between day and night in Earth and the Moon? Over. Well, up here on the space station, we're going around the Earth every 90 minutes. Um, so we get to see a sunrise and a sunset every 45 minutes, which is pretty spectacular. We see 16 of those every day, uh, which is very different, of course, than being on Earth. Uh, we don't see all of those because we're not looking out the window all the time, but that's what the space station experiences. Uh, the moon, again, it looks very similar to what it does on Earth. It just has less pollution in between us and the moon, so it looks a little bit clear, clearer over. Hi, my name is Andreas. What's the main target of your expedition? Over. Well, we have, we have several things. Um, spacewalking was one of them. Uh, like I said, we've done two already. We have three more to go. And that was just to enhance the, the batteries on the outside of the space station. We replaced those on our last two spacewalks. And this time, we're going to do some other things to help the life of the space station. Uh, science and research is always the key. Um, priority for all of our missions, and that's no different for us. We have some really great science going on now, and that will continue throughout the expedition. Over. Hi, my name is Hodge. Can you see me there showers from space? Over. You can see them if you happen to be looking out at the right time. I have not seen any yet. Uh, I haven't been lucky enough to see that. Over. Hi, my name is Christina. Have you ever seen a comet from space? Over. Another great question. I have not seen a comet, but some of my crewmates have. They just happen to be looking out the window and taking pictures when the comet came by. So that was pretty special. Hi, my name is Maria. How long did the preparation for this expedition last? Over. Most of our expeditions require about two and a half years of training prior to the mission. So that was that was the case for me as well. So it's a long training process to get to the six month expedition. Over. Hi, my name is Alexandros. How many hours do you work? Do you have six? Over. In general, we all, all six of us work on the same time, so we get up about 6 in the morning, we start working at 7.30 a.m., and we work till 7.30 p.m., so 12-hour work days, and then we usually go to bed about 10 at night. Over. Hi, my name is Christina. How long did the time you go out there for spacewalks, that's pretty extreme, so um, I would just categorize all the spacewalks as the most extreme thing that we're doing over. Hi, my name is Maria Vecina. What's your favorite food space? Over. Well, we have a lot of great foods up here. I was very surprised at the variety. Uh, we have a lot of nice chicken dishes and pork dishes as well as uh, fish dishes, so I don't have really have any favorites. I, I kind of like them all. Um, they do get old after a while, but, but uh, we do have some pretty good variety over. Hi, my name is Mildred. How old were you when you decided to become an astronaut? And what was the motive of your decision? How old Well, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a, a little kid, probably about five or six years old. And the reason was that's when the astronauts were landing on the moon uh, back in the early 1970s. So that was a long time ago for you guys. But uh, that's when I was a little kid, and that's what motivated me to want to be an astronaut. Over.